today we're going to talk, we, our, our topic is Shine Your Light Part 2. Everybody say, Shine Your Light. You know, a few days ago, I think it was just two days ago, I had an interview. I interviewed and met a fascinating woman. Her name is Noemi Saludo. She was the first woman president for the Philippine Chambers of Commerce and Industry. An achiever, you know, a woman of, of big business, um, really, really successful woman. Kaya lang, ito yung kwento niya. She had depression. For some time, sino sa inyo naka, nagkaroon na ng depression sa kanilang buhay, taas ng kamay? It's not nice to have depression. Amen? I mean, you would not, you would not wish it for your worst enemy. It's, well, siguro pa minsan, minsan. Pero, it is terrible to have depression. You wake up in the morning and you want to go back to sleep. You don't want the food that you eat, no matter how delicious it is, you say, parang walang lasa. Then you talk to people and you don't want to talk to them. You go, into, you go to work, you don't want to work. It was such a terrible time for Noemi Saludo. And at that peak of her career, she said, I resigned. She resigned from being the president of the Philippine Chambers of Commerce. Tangmukmuk siya, talagang Lord God, ano ba to? You know, for months it was depression. And then, yung pari niyang kaibigan, sinabi niya kay, kay Noemi, uh, punta tayo sa Manawag. You know what Manawag is, right? It's a place of miracle, a place of intercession. Punta siya doon. Iyak lang siya ng iyak kay Lord. Ito yung sinabi niya. Ang ganda ng prayer niya. Lord, bigyan mo ko ng mission at gagawin ko basta heal me of my depression. Lord, give me something to do. Let, let, give me a mission and, if you, and, and, and I will do it, Lord God. Just heal me of my depression. Brothers and sisters, after she cried and cried and prayed, yung pari niyang kaibigan, lapit sa kanya, Noemi, tama na yung dasal mo, baha na dito sa namanawag, lipat naman tayo sa ibang simbahan, yung simbahan ko. They go to San Manuel, it's a tiny, poor place, and they go to the parish church, the name of the church is St. Bartholomew. Pagpasok ni Noemi doon, she discovered it's a 200-year-old church that is so dilapidated there's no paint, the ceiling is broken down, the pews are destroyed, yung, yung stairs papuntang choir loft, loft, wag mo na gamitin kasi bubabagsak, naglakad siya sa altar, yung tabernacle, hindi mo pinalitan for the past 200 years, yung talagang, yung bubuksan niya sana, ititingnan, sinabi ng pare, oh, babagsak, babagsak, babagsak. And ganong kasira-sira yung simbahan, and then God speaks to her heart, God says, build my church build my church. It was so clear that she turned around to her priest friend and said, Father, I will finish your church. Alam niyo, brothers and sisters, that was that one point in her life when she said, I will build my, God said, build my church and she turns around and says, I will build my church. From that time on, brothers, why don't you know, so ask me, what happened next? Tell me what happened next. Her depression was gone. Lifted out. You know, she got her own money, poured it into that church. She called up all her friends and said, Tulungan niyo ko, we have a church to build, a poor church in a small town. She, con- she had two concerts on her birthday party. She said, wag niyo, wag niyo bigyan ng pre- uh, birthday gifts, just give it to the church. After a year of building the church, after three million pesos, the church was finally built. But more, 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 more to the point I want to share with you is that her depression was gone. I think many times our problems come from the fact that we are so inward looking and we are so... Now, bro, 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 let, let me say this, let me say this. Not all depression will be healed this way. Is that clear? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that, okay? But some, okay, some forms of depression and, and, and to annoy me, it was like this. And I was talking to her. She was so bubbling up and filled with joy. The church is finished. She, she put up uh, Bahay ng Dios Foundation. It's building churches. It's under, under Cardinal Rosales and Cardinal Vidal. It's an amazing story. I was talking to her. It's just a fantastic thing. Sisters and brothers, please understand. I'm going to say to you now. Ma- many times, okay? Many times. We have problems. And our problems come from the fact that we are not shining our light. You got what I'm saying? 
We're not giving gifts to the world. We're not blessing the world. God has given us gifts. And because we're not using our gifts, we've got some problems in our lives. You got what I'm saying? Are you getting what I'm saying? Tell the person beside you, shine your light. Here, here's the problem. Remember that scene? Remember that scene when, when Noemi was walking around the old, old church, looking at the tabernacle that's about to fall apart, looking at everything, and then she hears God's voice? That scene where she turns to the priest and says, Father, I will finish this church. At that particular scene, I'm sure there will be a lot of people who will say, Ya bang naman. Ya bang na tao. But you know what? You know what? Maybe it's not ya bang. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. And the reason why we are not able to shine our light is maybe because we have a wrong notion of what humility is. That's what we talked about last month. Are you getting what I'm saying? And sometimes, you know, humility is a, it's a crazy thing. Have, have you ever heard of, of award ceremonies? You know, the most humble person in the world goes to... Why bagay, you know? Because humility is very difficult to grasp. It's, it's like, I remember the story of this bishop with his priests and thousands and thousands of people in the cathedral. You know, they were all praying. And then maybe in one mystical wave of rapture, of prayer, the bishop stands up and says, Lord, I'm nothing! And kneels down, you know, in homage to God. Yung mga pari naman na inspire. Uy, yung bishop natin, tumayo rin sila. Lord, we're nothing! Tapos luhod ulit sila sa alta. Alam mo, all the people were just looking. Wow, grabe, napaka-humble na mga pari natin ng ubispo. Yung janitor sa likod, naglilinis, narinig niya. Uy, ako rin, ako rin. Sinabi niya, nakaka-inspire. Sigaw siya, Lord, I'm nothing. Yung ubispo, tumayo, nagalit. Hoy, janitor ka lang, ha? Ako ang nothing, ako! <laughs> Kung hindi niyo nakuha yung joke, Sabinyo sa katabinyo. Explain. <laughs> Alam niyo, brothers and sisters, ang humility, ang hirap. Ano ano explanation ng humility? I'm gonna share with you something here. It's from it's from Saint Jose Marie Escriva. And and he says, okay, the evidences of the lack of humility. Totoo to, ah, totoo. Number one, to always want to get your own way. Hindi ka humble. Number two. To argue with stubbornness and bad manners whether you are right or wrong. You're not humble. Number three, to look down on another's point of view. Number four, not to look on your own gifts and abilities as lent or borrowed from God. Number five, to speak badly of yourself so that others will think well of you or contradict you. Mga false humility, pa humble effect. That's not humble. Number six, to excuse yourself when you are corrected. Number seven, to hide humiliating faults from your confessor, from your spirit, spiritual director. You're not humble. Number eight, to be saddened because others are held in higher esteem. Number nine, to refuse to perform inferior tasks. Naalala ko pag bisita ko kay um, Love Flock, yung si, si Bing Bong Crisologo, counselor ng Quezon City, pero siya yung leader ng Love Flock. I remember going to his place and he was sweeping the floor. It was just a sight, nice, nice sight to, to see. May mga kilala kasi ako pag naging speaker ng community. Uh, tapos sabihin mo sa kanya, Brother, tumulong tayo sa, ano, sa audio system. Sa sagot sa iyo, ako ang speaker, hindi tagabuhat ng speaker. Number 10, to be ashamed because you lack certain goods. Pero alam niyo, brothers and sisters, let, 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 let me give you some other, other ways of understanding humility that may not be as black and white. Alam mo dati, eto ha, to give your opinion when it has not been requested, Abay, uh, hindi ka yata humble, brother. Hindi rin request yung opinion mo. Huwag mo ibigay. Ha? But you know, brothers and sisters, there are times when you have to stand up and say, this is my opinion, whether you request it or not, as a form of service. Number two, not to recognize that you are unworthy of all honors and esteem, not even of the earth that you walk on or the things you possess. Pero, teka muna, what about healthy self-worth? Number three, to use yourself as an example in your conversations. Mga nanay at mga tatay, pag sinabi ko sa inyo, do not use yourself as an example to your children, I will remove 80% of your conversation. Anak! Nung panahon ko! Nung 50 centimos pa lang ang coke! 
Matipid ako, matipid. Hindi ka tulad. Al- alam nyo, there are times when you have to use yourself as an example. Bakit? Wala ka nang maisip. Eh, hindi naman ibig sabihin nung pag ginamit mo sarili mo bilang halimbawa, eh, proud ka na. Hindi naman. It's, it's not as black and white. The important thing is, what is your motive? Is it service? Number four, to take pleasure in praise and compliments. Alam mo, kaninang umaga, tuwang-tuwa ako, I was with Risa Singson, Randy Borromeo, and Alvin Barcelona. We had, we had our uh, Radio Veritas show. Radio show has been going on for one year. Six in the morning, we were there. Gabay sa Biblia, that's the name of the, sh- of the radio program. We were having so much fun, you know, there in the, in the booth, radio booth. Tapos, ang daming tawag, ang daming text messages from all over Luzon. You know, just amazing. Cavite, Batangas, all sorts of places. And, and, and Brother Bo, Brother Alvin, Sister Risa, Brother Randy, Nako, thank you. You are our alarm clock. Para, uh, thank you. <laughs> you, are, you bless our lives. You, you nourish us with the Word. You know, nakakataba ng puso. Now, brothers and sisters, if I'm going to follow that, I, I should not receive any praise and compliment. Paano yun? Ah, no, 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 no. Don't praise us. Worship the Lord. No, no, no. Do not praise us. No, do not text. No, no, please. Arte naman yun. Nakakataba nga ng puso yung mga praise nila. Eh, na, maski pa paano yung pagod namin, eh, nakaka-bless ilang libo-libong tao na, nakikinig sa salita ng Diyos. And... So, again, tell the person beside you, um, you can praise me if you want to. <laughs> the, the important thing is, hindi pumupunta sa ating ulo. Amen? It, it just goes to the heart and, and we just say, praise God. Ginagamit tayo ng Diyos. Number five, to seek to stand out. Again, some people say, hindi humble yung to stand out. But there are times when you have to stand out. There are times when you have to be like David. And Goliath is there. No one wants to fight him. David says, I'm going to fight him. I stand out. Why? Because I want to serve. Because I want to give my life to God. Number six, to refer in conversation to your honesty, genius, dexterity, or professional prestige. In, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 31 to 37, we read that. That is the verse, my verse for, for, for today. I'd like to define to you what humility is for me. Many times, humility is aggressive servanthood. Say that with me, please. Aggressive servanthood. It's being able to say, I want, God has given me gifts. I'd like to give it back to the Lord. The second key, number two, I'd like to share with you is to grow in the light. Grow your light. Everybody say, grow your light. That means be prepared. Alam niyo yung key number three, iuunaan ko na kayo, no? It's being confident. You can't, you know, when, when you want to shine your light, you've got to be confident. Everybody say, be confident. Importante na confident ka. Pag nagsiserve, pag nagsishine ng, ng light mo sa iba, kailangan confident. But even before being confident, you've got to prepare. Everybody say, prepare. I don't care how confident you are. If you're not prepared, baliwala. Parang yung pamangkin mo yan, eh. your, your niece goes to you. Her name is Nicole. Uncle, can I borrow your car? Why? I, you know, uncle, this morning, I was telling myself, I'm a good driver. I'm a good driver. I'm a perfect driver. I'm an excellent driver. I can do it. I can drive a car. Borrow your car, uncle. Like driving lessons, ka ba? Hindi. But I'm confident. Will you lend your car? So it's important to be confident, and I'm going to talk about that in a while. But before confidence, you've got to prepare. What does preparation mean? First, you've got to find your light. Everybody say, find your light. What does find your light mean? It's being able to know that Jesus is your light. Everybody say, Jesus is my light. I want you to come think, if you can combine all the light of all the suns and all the stars of the universe, it is but a fraction of who Jesus is. He is our light. Do you believe that Jesus lives in you? Say that with me. Jesus lives in me. He is my light. He is the light that you share to the world. And Jesus is, is, is shining, manifesting to two, two ways. The, the, the second thing I want to share with you is He shines Himself through your inner character. Everybody say inner character. 
Tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo. Kamukha ba niya, kamukha ba niya si Jesus? Hindi. Sabi mo, kung, kung kamukha niya si Jesus, sabi mo sa kanya, parang kamukha mo si Lord. Tinawanan ka, no? Hindi niya sinabi. The second thing I'd like to share with you is, the third thing is, God manifests Himself through your core gifts. Pray with me. Lord, thank you for my core gifts. Use them for your glory. Father John Sherlock is outside giving confession. Father John Sherlock, oy my priest, 84 years old. Alam mo yung core gift niya? Confession. Sinabi ni Father Steve Tainan sa akin, spiritual director natin, sinabi niya, Bo, if you see a priest giving confession, loves to give confession, that priest is holy. Holy priest. Number one, it's tiring to give confession. Number two, walang pera sa confession. Hindi, totoo yan. Nagbibigay po kayo ng pera sa confession. Wala. Libre yan. Father Steve was saying, basta pag may pare na mahal na mahal niya yung sacrament of confession, siguradong banal yan. Father John Sherlock is one such a guy. His core gift is to give the sacrament of reconciliation to many people. And I've, I've never met um, a better confessor than Father John. There's another priest. His name is Father Joseph Sikia. He is, he just wrote a book. It's called Ex- Exorcism. We publish it. Had the privilege of publishing his book. He also writes for Sabbath sometimes. Father Joseph Sikia is the official exorcist of the Catholic Church, at least in the Archdiocese of Manila. Ang core gift niya, mag exorcise. Ako ay nagpapasalamat sa Diyos na hindi yun ang aking core gift. Nagpapasalamat ka ba na hindi yun ang core gift mo? Naalala ko na ako ay 13, 14 years old. Nagpipreach na ako noon. May lumapit sa akin isang babae. Sinabi niya, yung anak ko na popossess. Tapos sinabi ko, sige, pray over ko. Hindi ko pa alam yung mga core gift, core gift na yan. Pray over ko ng dalawang oras. Alam niyo, brothers and sisters, yung mga scene na pinapanood natin, yung mga horror movies, it was right there in front of me. Ito yung mukha niya. Yung parang, Lord, sana preaching na lang gift ko. Lord, please, Lord, hindi na to. Naalis naman yung demonyo. You know, praise God. Naalis. Pero alam nyo, simula nun, sinabi ko, Lord, bigyan nyo ako ng ibang gift. But you, you have, I want you to think with me, what gift do you have? What is the core gift? Maybe it's to organize. Maybe it's to sell. Maybe it's to write. Maybe it's to sing. Maybe it's to dance. Maybe it's to cook. Maybe it's to entertain. Maybe it's to talk. Maybe it's to comfort people. Maybe it's to encourage. Maybe it's to counsel. Whatever gift that God has given to you, use it for His glory and to bless the world. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, hawakan mo yung kamay niya, laksan mo yung kapit mo, sabihin mo sa yung, gamitin mo para kay Lord. Second, love your light. Everybody say, love your light. You've got to start liking yourself. Alam nyo, if you will not like yourself, no one will like you. And no one will be able to believe in your light. Pakisabi nga, malakas ha, malakas. I like myself. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, gusto ko sarili ko. Alam nyo, Pag hindi mo gusto ang sarili mo, walang, walang makag, magkakagusto sa'yo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, I like you. Maraming beses nagiging ninong ako sa kasal. Ang dami-daming beses, lalapit na lang yung, yung mag-boyfriend, girlfriend sa, sa akin. Brother Bo, we met in the feast. Kaya ikaw na ang ninong namin. Yung mga singles, taas ng kamay. Malay nyo. Pag may single man or single woman na katabi mo, sabihin mo, I like you. Number three, develop your core gifts. If you want to shine your light, 
you have to be the best in your core gifts. And you've got to get training, you've got to attend seminars, you've got to read books, you've got to get mentors. In fact, I share this to people. Many people work on improving their income, but you can't improve your income if you don't improve yourself. Tama. Number four, build a relationship with your core audience. Kailangan alam mo sino ang sineserve mo. Whether you are a business, whether you're a family, whether you're, you're a community, whether you're an individual, you've got to know your core audience. You've got to serve that audience. I've, I've really known my audience. I've, alam nyo, a few days ago, I was talking to Mike Villarde, founder of El Shaddai. Kilala nyo naman siguro yung mamang yun, ano? Napaka-inspiring, sobra. I was talking to him, and, and he, he knows his audience. He really knows his audience. He... One day, many, many years ago, he said, he heard the audible voice of God. Like Noemi Saludo, one day, God speaks to him, and God says, Mike, build a place where my people can rest. Sinabi ni Brother Mike sa akin, Brother Bo, that's the first and the last time I heard the audible voice of God. Sinabi niya, my life, God speaks to my heart, but once I heard him audibly. Galing, ano? Brother Mike received that word, build a place where my people can rest. Because Brother Mike in real estate, building subdivisions and, and buildings, you know what he did? He designed a, a, a stadium, a dome that can fit thousands of people. He brings it to the Pope at, in Vatican in Rome, asks the Pope to bless it, comes back here, nagkaroon ng groundbreaking, cardinal sin was there, they blessed the three hectares, five hectare property, but before they could start building the dome, you know what happened? El Shaddai was already so big. 300,000 members. Hindi na pwedeng kumasya sa maski anong physical structure. And then Brother Mike realized, God wanted him to build a place. Not physical place, but community. El Shaddai. A place where people can gather and get rest. And he told me this, and that's why he knows his audience so well. He said, Alam mo ang El Shaddai, pagkatapos na aming gawain, prayer meeting, uwi mga tao, masaya. They are happy. You notice that? No, you don't. Okay. But, but that's what I noticed. That when El Shaddai people go home, they don't want to go home. They're happy. And Brother Mike would say, the whole week, they're tired. The whole week, they're, 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 they're you know, strapped in work. Ang dami nilang problema. Tapos, Prayer meeting, may problema. Pande, dapat masaya. Dapat masaya. Gandang konsepto, di ba? He knows his audience. That's why in the feast, I hope you experience the same thing. Amen? That, that you go, go ahead. Hallelujah. I do not want to add to your problems. I want you to go home with a sense of joy and peace and yes! I receive God's blessing. Yes, I receive God's word. I go home happy. Imagine if I go here and I say, Brothers and sisters, Sana naman masaya kayo. Uh, alam ko may problema kayo. Ganyan talaga buhay. Marami yan. Sa susunod na linggo, mas marami pa. Um, sige. Uh, tiis na lang tayong lahat. Sige, ha? Uh, konting, konting tiyaga lang. Madadaanan rin natin itong kalbaryo. God bless, ha? Bye. Kuhawa naman, oh. Kuhawa naman tayo. No? We, we, we have to have, we, know, we need to know our audience. We need to know uh, what they need. And that's why we want the feast to be weekly. What do you think? I want to reach, you know, people are telling me, Brother Bo, pa- paano kung weekly? Eh, pa- paano yun yung, kaya nga, eh, gusto kong weekly, kasi ang dami nang hindi nagsisimba. Do you know that only 15%, 15% of Catholics go to Mass? Do you know that? In the Philippines? And, paano ang dami-dami nagsisimba? No? Hindi, 15% lang ng Katoliko nagsisimba tuwing linggo. 85% do not. That's, these are the people we want to bring to the feast. Amen? That's 85% of Filipinos 
who don't go to Mass anymore. We want to bring them to the Lord. Second thing, there are so many Catholics who have gone to, to the born-again churches. And they're there, worshiping in, in wonderful places, beautiful places. But brothers and sisters, if they're Catholics, I want to bring them back to the Catholic Church. I want you to pray hard. I want you to pray very hard because we, we want to know where God wants us to go. Alam nyo, itong teatro na to, we love the place, it's a beautiful place, but it's not available every Sunday. And so, we're looking for, number one, a mall. We're looking for a place where we can gather. We're looking for an empty property, a lot. Maglagay na lang tayo ng air-conditioned tent. I mean, we're, we're open to all sorts of ideas. For the next 30 days, I'm going to ask you, please pray for where God wants us to go. And then, you email me, you call up our office, you tell us your ideas and what God is telling us. Okay? Number three. Key number three, be confident when you shine your light. Everybody say, be confident, be confident. when you shine your light. Imagine if you're, a, if you're buying a car. You go, you go to the dealer, and then you see all the cars there. And then you, you say, Meron ba akong makakausap dito? And so the salesman comes out of the office. Yes, sir. Um, I, I'd like to ask about the car. Opo. Yes, sir. What, what can I do, sir? Okay ba tong kotse na to? Sir, pwede na. Okay ba yung performance niya? Daw. Maganda ba yung quality? Huh? Quality, I, I'm looking for quality. Okay na siguro, sir. Paminsan-minsan. Okay. I mean, would you buy a car from a salesman like that? No, you won't. You want, you want a salesman who says, Sir, this is a great car. This is a wonderful car. Sir, hindi kayo magdududa, hindi kayo magdadalawang isip, performance, durability, it's a great car. Experience, because sir, an experience of, of, of 1,300 customers, very happy, sir, this is the car for you. You want a confident salesman. Sisters and brothers, you, you, every single moment of your life, you're selling yourself. I'm sorry to say this, but you're selling yourself. You've, you've got to be able to be confident. Everybody say confidence. You've got to be so confident in your product. Your product is Jesus. Jesus dwelling in you. And you be proud of your product. You, Zig Ziglar says this. Timid salesmen have skinny kids. You agree with me? You agree with him? Okay, be confident when you shine your light. Number one, how you present yourself to the world. Paano niyo pinepresent yung... yung I was in a hotel one time. I was going to check in. And pagpunta ko sa front desk, sinabi ko, you know, I, I'm, I'm checking in. Now I have a reservation. And, and the woman there, siguro busy siya. Um, uh, yes, sir. Um, uh, just a minute, sir. Um, and then I said, can I, can I see your rate card? You know, the prices of the different rooms. You know. Sir, ito, sir. Okay, sir. Um, okay. I really felt she was looking down on me. You know why she was looking down on me? Ito, suspecha ko lang to. I can't read her thoughts. I was in a t-shirt. I was in a normal, regular t-shirt. And, and it was, I, I was not important. And then she gave me the information card. You know, sir, pakifill up. Please. Yeah. Galaw-galaw siya. Lakad-lakad. So I, I write my name, you know. Sanchez, you know. Address. Tinanong yung position. Sinabi ko, ano ko ilagay ko? Uh, preacher, writer. Ilagay ko na lang yung, yung, yung legal, yung legal chairman of the board. Pag, pag pakita ko sa kanya, blink of an eye, snap of a finger. Sir, uh, breakfast is ready, sir, tomorrow. And the swimming pool is on the fifth floor and the gym is on the third floor. Sir, what else can I do for you? Sir, there's a, there's a welcome drink here. There's a fruit basket waiting for you in the room. Sir, what else do you want me to do? I mean, she treated me like I was chairman of the board. She had no idea why I was chairman of the board. Now, it's true, I'm chairman of the board of Shepherd's Voice. But I, I, I could very well be chairman of the board of, of you know, a company I registered in the Securities and Exchange Commission, Bo Sanchez Incorporated. My, my, my employee is my wife. You know, I mean, I can't, but sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, chairman of the board rin ako. Huh? You are the chairman of the board of your life. Now, but that, this is the world that we live in. 
We live in a world where people judge us according to how we dress up. People, God looks at the heart. People don't. They look at hairdo. They look at, you know, shirt and pants and, and blouse and dress. So if you want to be confident in public situations, you dress up well. You, it's in the delivery. And you know what? What if I stand before you and I'm not delivering like this in confidence? Let's say I'm a brilliant fellow. Let's say. Okay? <laughs> Let's imagine that I'm brilliant. I'm super brilliant. I'm 100 times more brilliant than you are. Let's say. But I don't have confidence. What will happen? Brothers and sisters, I'd like to give a talk on shining your light. And I hope, I hope you learn something. If, if you don't, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, I, I'd like to give a talk. Would it work? But if I'm not very intelligent, I'm not very bright, but I've got confidence, and I'll just say, God loves you, God loves you, God loves you. May mangyayari. May mangyayari sa buhay niyo. Confidence. Say confidence. Say this with me. It's in the delivery. It's in the package. I'm sorry to say this, but unfortunately, that's the world. I remember this, this story of comedians. Great comedians. They're having lunch. They always have lunch together once a week. Nandun si Dolphy, nandun si Michael V, nandun si Joey De Leon. Tapos, nandun ka. Nandun ka sa lunch. Tapos, biglang tumayo si Dolphy, sinabi niya, 65. Tawanan lahat! Tawanan! Ikaw nagtataka ka? Ano nakakatawa doon? Tumayo si Michael V. 32. Tawanan na naman sila! Bakit ganun? Kinuusap mo yung katabi mo, ba't, ba't sila tumatawa? Number? Sinabi ng katabi mo, alam mo, we meet for lunch so often, we tell the same old jokes. So ang ginawa namin, sinulat na lang namin lahat by number. Ito nga, libro, libro. Daming libro, daming folder yan. Ha? Minemorize na lang namin yung number. Kaya pag sinabi mong yan, 65, 32, alam na namin, tawanan na lang kami. So, so ikaw naman, excited ka. Wow, ganun lang pala. Ah, can, can I try? Can I try? Hanap ka. <coughs> so, binabi mo sa mga comedians. 22. Walang tumawa. Wala. La, yung, mga, yung mga kumikero. Ano daw yun? Umupo ka. Bakit hindi sila tumawa? Sabi ng katabi mo, hindi ka marunong mag-deliver ng joke. <laughs> Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, it's in the delivery. It's the confidence that you can present yourself to the world. Number two, how you talk about yourself. How do you talk to others about who you are? How do you answer when people ask, what do you do? Do you say, housewife lang ako? Ay, clerk lang? Ay, security guard lang? Why not say this? Instead of saying, housewife lang, say, I'm a full-time mother raising my children to become beautiful, wonderful, bright, loving, godly human beings for the glory of God. <laughs> Instead of saying, clerk lang, Say, I'm in charge of assisting the head of our department fulfill his goals and make our entire office run smoothly. <laughs> Confidence. Wag mong sabihin, security guard lang po ako. Say, say, I'm responsible for protecting our 100 million peso factory and all its assets so that the 3,000 people who work here can continue to earn money and feed their 3,000 families. Everybody say confidence. When I talk about myself, it's got to be with confidence. Number three, how you talk to yourself. Because the most important conversation that you will ever have will be your conversation with yourself. I've got, I'm going to give you five powerful affirmations for each day. The first one, I love this. I love this. Every morning when you wake, wake up, say this with me. God is with me. 
Say that again. God is with me. I met, I met a very rich guy, multi-millionaire, you know, right in front of me. Hindi siya charismatic. Hindi siya nag ng prayer meeting. Talking to him. And then he tells me, alam mo, Brother Bo, you'll appreciate this. Sinabi ko, ano po yun, sir? Sinabi niya, multi-millionaire. Alam mo ba, Brother Bo, bago ako papasok ng negosyo, bago ako papasok ng bagong proyekto, every day, I tell myself, God is with me. God is with me. Bago daw siya puma, God is with me. God is with me. And then God, and, and He says this to me, God has blessed me. It's, it's amazing how something simple as that, an affirmation that God is with you when you do whatever you do. Imagine the confidence that you have. Amen? Amen? Amen. Every day, every day, every morning, whatever you do, just say, God is with me. Amen? Another affirmation. I'm a loving person. I'm a successful person. I'm a great husband. I'm a, I'm a fantastic mother. I'm a generous person. Because you become the labels you give yourself. My last key is to be relentless in shining your light. Everybody say relentless. Do not shine your light today. Don't shine, shine your light tomorrow. You shine your light every day of your life. This even works in, in business, for example. I, I, I tell business owners, small business owners, I tell them, most business owners focus 80% of their time on their product and 20% of their time on marketing. I think it should be inverted. I think 80% of your time should be focused on marketing and 20% on your product. You've got to, got to, got to tell people about your service. Because I don't care how great your product is, if people don't know about it, then they won't buy. This works also in our personal life. This works also even in our spiritual life.